Microfluidics is the study where you miniaturize everything into a very small volume. So you use less reagents, less sample, and things work much faster. Things work differently. The physics in small dimensions is different than the physics that we are used to see in every day. We start the students from the beginning, from the very beginning of how to fabricate a very simple microfluidic device. And then we step them through more complicated, complex projects and uh, different structures so that at the end of the course, they can go out to real life, to maybe industry lab or maybe graduate studies and start building, miniaturizing their own essays, building their own microfluidic devices. Microfluidics is a fast-changing discipline. Uh, people used to build devices out of silicon and then they switched to glass and silicone rubber and now people are doing plastics, very simple devices. But the next material is probably something you have been using all along, just paper. Paper microfluidics have the potential of decreasing the cost of doing anything, any essay, tremendously. And that will be very beneficial for third world countries where people don't have the resources that more modern countries have. And in that case, you will have like a paper strip with certain chemicals on it and you put drop of blood and it will give you the result in five minutes by a color change. And then those countries have cell phone networks. You can take your cell phone, take a picture and send it to the main lab and they will give you the analysis. So this is power.